and sensation of wheelchair users. And I will tell you how the camp is going in Belarus right now. The active rehabilitation camp started in uh, Belarus uh, in 1997. It was a big camp with an international group of leaders from Sweden, Poland, uh, Ukraine and Lithuania. The camp uh, in Belarus was started uh, by Swedish organization of Recruitarian Group. And at the same year, we decided to create an uh, organization of uh, wheelchair users uh, in Belarus. Uh, it uh, was created to bring up together all the people with a spinal cord injury and uh, to uh, develop idea of active rehabilitation. But at that moment, we didn't have an active type of wheelchair. But we found the help from Swedish people. They brought an active wheelchair and we copied one of it. And then we started to produce in our country active type of wheelchair. But this time we have three kinds of uh, active wheelchair that we can use at our camps. During the, uh, the last 19 years of active rehabilitation in Belarus, we had more than uh, 1,000 people uh, with spinal cord injury at our uh, camps. Uh, by agreement with the Ministry of Health Care, we visit people right after the injury in the hospital, where they get uh, basic information about us, camps, and uh, future life in wheelchair. Uh, this year, we got uh, started to build our, our own center of active rehabilitation. In 2014, we got support from uh, our government. We got into state rehabilitation program for the next five years. That means that uh, our government approves the active rehabilitation program as a part of the uh, rehabilitation system after spinal cord injury. Ministry of Social Health uh, gives an active wheelchair to each participant at the camp one uh, at the camp, sorry. Um, but one more thing that got changed by the government that they start to change laws and, uh, and normatives about adjustment public place and public transport for wheelchair users. Five Belarusian universities uh, now send their st uh, students to our camps because they think it's a great opportunity and chance to learn uh, information and to learn about spinal cord injury and because those kind of information is not placed in books by medicine or just regular magazine. Uh, you heard about the camp uh, program and we're always uh, trying to develop a program on the camp. We're always trying to add new uh, things. We so we start to kayak, we, we want to start a horseback riding, but all these things were taken from people from abroad. We usually send our leaders and go ourselves to change an experience like uh, to countries like Sweden, Poland, Ukraine. It's always great to be there and see how other people does it. Even we do the same thing, uh, same camps, but each country does it the same way. And it's great. It is, gives a chance to develop and create new ways of uh, active rehabilitation camps. Uh, by this time, uh, we had held uh, camps for leaders. It is important to have a uh, good team. Uh, we have been inviting leaders from Sweden, Poland, and Ukraine, and it is important to share information. Uh, we had special camp for Tetra and special women's camp. We plan to start camps for kids in uh, 90, next year. The main result of active rehabilitation camp uh, that is people start to get back to work and studying. They start to have their own business and finding their self in different hobbies. Uh, they start to live normal and independent life. Uh, lots of people with spinal cord injury after the camp start to do sports. And uh, it is so great and that they can present our country at international uh, competitions. And I would like to show you and say a little bit story. Uh, the Anna, as you see in the picture, she was a leader of our camp. And you see Evgeny, and he's a chairman of our organization. They got to, to know each other at our camp, and they got a really good relationship. <laughs> and uh, they have it together, and uh, it's one of, one of the cases why we should do it. But main theme of it, they will have a normal fa uh, family. This 
and she's happy there, expecting to have a baby girl this November. Thank you for your attention.